stick around to see how we made these really cool floating sea turtles in about three steps. And it took like less than 10 minutes. You will not want to miss this, guys. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl, the activity author, here to bring you another fun, creative, innovative craft. So let's go ahead and get into it. Keep in mind that everything that we talk about here is gonna be in the description box, so make sure you guys head on down there and check that out. And uh, yes, we wanna go ahead and start by painting our shells. You know what, we actually have the silliest conversations, me and my daughter, so I'm gonna actually let y'all listen in real quick. Check this out. Oh, Blippi said holidays? Yes. Wow. What a Blippi. You are so yeah. pretty. Thank you. Yours is pretty too. Yeah. So you. you said you watched Blippi and then what happened? Okay. They were talking about holidays? Yeah. Wait, was they talking about Easter? Yeah. Oh, so you know what Easter is now? Yeah. That's Easter, cool. Have a good day. So, yeah, I didn't really understood about 75% of the conversation, but hey, it's good to talk to your kids, and we are working on our socialization skills. Now, while she finishes up her painting, I'm gonna go ahead and take these foam sheets, and I'm gonna cut out the turtle's head, and I'm gonna use like a, I wanna say like a U-shape, this shape that I'm cutting out. <laughs> That's the shape that I'm using for my turtle's head, legs, and then for the tail, I'm gonna cut like a triangle. So yeah, if you guys aren't using this as a floating turtle, you could also use construction paper. I meant to tell you that as well. So when you decorate your turtle shell, if you decide to, you guys can use anything you want. Beads, pom-pom balls. Uh, I'm gonna actually use beads and sequences because I'm gonna actually use this in the water and if I use pom-pom balls, they're gonna get too wet. And I actually like using sequences because it helps with my daughter's motor skills. You know, she has to concentrate to grab the little tiny shapes. So it's up to you guys, whatever you guys wanna decorate with, but that is my reasoning behind using sequence because you know I'm trying to help build up her mo you know motor skills and the reason you guys see me putting glue all over the turtle that's my technique to help her glue on her uh, sequences and if you have a child that's not really good with squeezing the glue I suggest you guys do it that way as well and you know what this is actually a cheat code because my daughter doesn't like to spread things out and you know put shapes all around so this actually is her cheat code to teach her how to you know how to decorate instead of putting all the decorations on one side you know what they do and after they are dry you guys can either play with them like normal turtles or you can put them in the bathtub or outside in the blow up pool or whatever you guys have at your house because they will float and they will just be cool kids love this my kids love this guys like when I told y'all <laughs> they love this actually so I know your babies will love it too um, and that is all we have today for our craft so guys make sure that you like this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and watch the rest of my videos because if you like this I know you're gonna like the rest of the stuff on my channel so I will see you guys tomorrow for the last craft of the month happy craftmas 
happy National Craft Month, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!